Hi everyone, today I'd like to show you my massive homemade hydrogen balloon. Okay, so I made this balloon from polyethylene foil. So it's just normal foil that you can use to cover your room if you're painting. So you can find it at your local hardware store. And to weld this together, I used this heat roller. I bought this at Hilda's Packaging in Fort Worth, Texas, when I was there on vacation. They had a great price and very good service. So I really recommend them. I will put a link in the description. So if you then lay down a piece of polyethylene foil and you put another one on top of it, place a piece of baking paper on top of it. If you then roll the roller over it, not too fast, not too slow, then it will be welded together quite strongly, I might say. Look, the weld is still intact, and the foil itself has broken. That's how strong it is. I use this baking paper to make the contact a little less direct, because else if you go a little bit too slow you will melt through the foil, and this way it has a little bit of a buffer. Okay, so the diameter of the balloon is 1 meter and 15 centimeters, and to make the template I took one half of the diameter and plotted it out here, and one sixth of the diameter and plotted it out here. So when I then plotted an arc between the three points and mirrored it, I then had a template. So a friend of mine printed out this template for you to make the balloon. But of course this is way too big to do on my workbench, so let's do it on the dinner table. Sounds a little naughty, I'm sorry. Okay, the balloon is now almost ready for flying, but I first need to strengthen the top and the bottom because this part is so difficult to weld together. It will get a lot of tension points here, and therefore the material will tear eventually. So to prevent that, I will make a big uh, duct tape sticker and put it on top of it. I'm also adding these small pieces of double-sided tape in the seams, because of course if I put a sticker on it, gas can always seep through the seam. So 
when I now apply this small piece. So now the gas cannot escape through the seam. So it will be completely closed off. I will make this round thicker by just applying two pieces of duct tape to this piece of baking paper because it has a silicone coating the tape will not stick to the paper very well so I can easily peel it off later mm -hmm. Okay, it's done. So now we will peel off the backing. Yes. Okay. Now, I think that's about right. Okay, that's one done, now the other one. Okay, that one's on too. So now I only need to make some rope attachments. So we'll make from duct tape, of course. And I will do that like this. So if I apply it like this to the balloon, I can put a little piece of string to it and I will apply six of them. So that must be more than enough. Okay, for my drawing, I know that I need to put in at 730 rear millimeters from the bottom. Give you a little bit better view. And I will fold them like this. I over the scene. Sticks very well to the polyethylene. Oh, that's a good thing actually. Okay, so we'll do the rest like this. Okay, the strings are attached. Let's fill her up. So I have attached this camera that I got for my birthday last week. 1025. Yeah, sure. Shh. <laughs> 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 I've attached this piece of cardboard to the camera to make it a little more stable.
and their tie. Okay, that's it everyone. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and see you next time. And she's back in the hangar.